grace and peace to you all in Jesus' mighty name. After much prayer and reflection, I want to share with you all a short statement in relation to the documentary on BBC regarding my mentor, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Remember first that salvation is personal. As the scripture says in Revelation 3 verse 20, Philippians 2 verse 12 and John 3 verse 16. As a disciple of Prophet T.B. Joshua for 17 years, from 2004 to his passing in 2021, I want to emphasize that my personal experiences do not correlate with any of the allegations in this documentary. I personally witnessed both the fruits of the Holy Spirit in Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23 and the gifts of the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians 12 verse 7 to 11, in the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. And I saw the, the name of Jesus Christ consistently glorified and the truth of God's word consistently preached. Now I have a word of advice for believers. As Christians, we must be careful not to shift our attention, our focus from the spiritual to the natural and get distracted from the Great Commission. Please see Mark chapter 16 from verses 15 to 18, Galatians 3 verse 3, and 1 Corinthians 2 verse 14. Disciples of Jesus Christ must remain focused on doing what God has called us to do, preaching the good news to a troubled world. Remember what Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. His power to heal the sick has not changed. His power to deliver the oppressed has not changed. His power to restore broken hearts has not changed. His power to save the lost has not changed. And faith in his mighty name still works wonders today. Acts chapter 3 verse 16, Philippians chapter 2 verses 9 to 11. Let us continue to fix our eyes on Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith, as Hebrews 12 verse 1 says. And let us continue to love everyone and trust only God. God bless you all and remember, it is all about Jesus.